And the kitchen is right back here. And right here is where all the magic happens. This is where we can be out the door so fast with food for um, all of the first responders. We work um, with the police departments, fire departments, and they call us and we can ge generally be out the door within an hour with food for 100 or more people. Better stir this baby up. The pastor at my church, he is a chaplain for the Maple Valley Fire Department and he called me one day and said, what are you doing? And it was just before we opened the restaurant and and he said, well, we've been at a fire at the wrecking yard in Four Corners in Maple Valley and um, these guys have been on this fire for six hours or so and they need some food and water. And I said, well, how many do you need to feed? And he said, about 50. And so I just, I said, okay, I'll see you in an hour. Well, yeah, and so we started making food for them and we would deliver it to them and stuff. And we did that for a couple of years. And then um, there's always, you know, King County deputies at these things. And then they started calling us to other things. And so we've been at so many things that have, you know, made the news. We were in Carnation the day after Christmas with that family that was, that one, you know, that's hard, you know, and, and but we were able to deliver hot food for them. It was snowing, it was Christmas time, just after Christmas. We were in Lakewood for nine days, and the four officers were shot there. He's running, he's running, we need patrol units here. We were in Tukwila um, when they caught that other fellow who shot the Seattle police officer. We were in Eatonville and the two deputies were shot out there. We got a call from one of the Pierce County deputies and asked if we could provide Christmas dinner for the Mundell family at Harborview. And they cleared out a room for us to, you know, feed them. And I put a thing on Facebook saying, I need help pulling together this, and I need tablecloths, and everything has to be disposable, but it has to be beautiful. We spent the whole day just taking care of those people. But one of the things that was really hard for me was the car that went into the room with the two children. Um, we were there for six days, and when that was over, I... I fell apart. I just, that was really difficult because anything involving children is horrible, but I mean, just being there for such a long, you know, all those days and um, feeding all of the first responders was, it's an honor and a privilege to get to do this. That's the thanks. The smile, the hug, that's all you need. Is this your calling? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we all have a gift. Everybody can do something. And, uh, and this is what I tell people all the time. You don't have to be like what I'm doing, where I'm just, you know, going out and feeding folks and um, first responders and um, sometimes, you know, cleaning out your neighbor's gutters. Is That can be a calling, you know, to help when you see somebody at the grocery store, you know, struggling to load their trunk because they're really frail and old, you know, you go and help them. So, I mean, everybody, if everybody could do one thing to make it a better place, how awesome would that be?